balloon. For the start, we are going to need glue, a balloon, scissors, yarn, and a basin. So if you have a pump to pump air into the balloon, that would be better, but I didn't have one, so I just had to do what I need to do. So you have to pump it to your desired size and then just tie it around so that the air doesn't come out of the balloon. so at first i had to use this i don't know whether they're called like ropes but they kind of have a like a polythene something to it so they didn't stick so i had to show you because that didn't work out i had to use the cotton yarn and that is the one that had to stick to the balloon i used wooden glue and i mixed a little bit of water with it please don't ask me why i didn't wear gloves i just don't feel comfortable with them but you know what Please put on your gloves. So after that, I had to dip or immerse like the threads that I had cut into like small, small pieces in the glow. And after knowing that every thread was completely covered by glue, I had to remove the excess glue from it and then start putting one by one on the balloon like it, I, I didn't have any design in mind i just randomly like put them everywhere that i found so you could create your own design i mean this was my first time trying it out for it to be actually successful like i have i tried it before and then it was a complete fail and yeah this is one that was really successful i don't know how After getting the desired look, you're going to keep it overnight. I kept mine for actually two days because I wasn't in a rush and it had to dry like so well. I didn't tamper with it. So yeah, this is it. After it dried up, I lost the footage here, but all I did was get a pin and then poke the balloon inside and pull it out slowly by slowly. And then I did really want to spray paint it like uh, rose, rose gold, but I didn't want to go to the market to get the spray paint. So I ended up using black because it's the one that I had at home, but you can always use any color of your choice. So at this point, I was trying to improvise on how I'm going to hang that thing into the bulb holder. Yeah, so I put two different threads and then I went and tied that on the bulb holder as I'm going to show you. Much of my love rushing, but you came and took me away. My little dance because I was feeling happy and I felt like it was a success. We went all down the line in this October sky. It's a pain. Really didn't like it that much with the white bulb, so I ended up getting a warm bulb. Yeah, my camera acted up and it didn't want to focus, but I like the warm light better. So yeah, I think it turned out great. Let's go to the second DIY. This project, you need a photo frames of your choice, drawing permanent markers. I didn't find them in my area. I only found permanent markers. And then for the drawings, you go on Google, type in line art drawings. Then you download those and then print them out. Uh, because we are going to be drawing on the glass, you need to clean your glass first. Yeah, super clean. And then try to get those hooks up and remove that lemise frame or board that is holding the glass inside. And then get your glass out. And you're going to be tracing that drawing on the paper because me i don't even know how to draw like 
I'm not a good artist at all, so we are going to be tracing it out. If you're a good artist, I don't think you need to trace. But yeah, even if you don't know how to draw, trust me, this is a project that you can do because it's just a matter of tracing. Uh, because I used only permanent markers, they're not drawing markers, so it was a little bit tricky. I had to draw the lines over and over. So it didn't come out perfectly, but it did really come out looking beautiful and great. Yeah, I tried to play around with the back sheets, but I ended up loving the white one better. And then, yeah, I ended up putting the red for the lipstick. This is what I liked better. <laughs> so I went ahead and did the second thing for this other a drawing on the photo frame i would call it i didn't show you i didn't film it because i felt like it's completely the same steps that you follow anyway i got this from a bookstore i asked for are they manila papers yeah you can go ahead and let me know which diy you liked the most in the comment section but that will be it for this video thank you so much guys for watching please subscribe if you haven't already give this video a huge big fat thumbs up if you liked it until next time guys i love you bye Mwah. adios bye